What's up everybody and today I'm going to show you how to get Facebook home on any Android phone out there. I know there's only a few supported out there right now, Galaxy S3, Galaxy S4, HTC One, One X and things like that. But I'm using a Nexus 4 right here and you can see that Facebook home is running on it without a problem whatsoever. So if you're not familiar with Facebook home, it's their new launcher that they put out along with the new phone, the HTC First. But you can see here it's running just fine on a Nexus 4 and I will also be demonstrating this on a Apple Find 5. So let's go ahead and get started. So this is all possible without root from Paul O'Brien, better known as Madako. And you can just go ahead and hit that link below in the description to go ahead and get these modded APKs that he's got out there, these modded files that are going to be able to let you run Facebook Home without root. And even if it's not a supported country, supported device, it all tells you everything right there. Just follow the directions. Very, very, very easy. The first thing you're going to want to do is remove all of your existing Facebook products that are on your phone right now. And if you have Facebook installed, Messenger installed, any of those things, definitely get them off of there first because you're going to need these modded APKs to make this work and these modded files. And once you have done that, go ahead and follow the directions and get these modded files and just go ahead and just start installing them. So there's three of them, obviously Facebook Home, Facebook Messenger, and the Facebook application. So go ahead and accept them and install them. And that's pretty much it. That's all there really is. And if you do have root, all you have to do is actually change the build prop. But this is all without root. So here you go. Just go ahead and launch Facebook Home. As you will see that now in your app launcher. And then just go ahead and start it. It's going to ask you for your information. So go ahead and sign in. And you'll see right there it's in the list of your launchers. So go ahead and pick Facebook Home. And it's going to give you a few tips here and there to get started. And it's going to take a little while to go ahead and load for the first time. But once it does, it'll be fine. And this is the Apple Find 5. So this is not a supported device. But you can see here that it works just fine on here. So there you go. It's working just fine. There's the app launcher there. And that's blank. But you can go ahead and move some of those apps over. So you can have those on the quick screen there. But for the most part here, all you have to do is hit home and make sure that you're setting this as a default launcher for you to go back to Facebook Home. So if you're not familiar with Facebook Home, basically it just puts your Facebook feed right in the forefront. There is really no lock screen. When you just hit it on, your Facebook feed starts going right away. And all you have to do is swipe to the side there and you can just keep looking through your Facebook feed. And it's pretty cool. If you want to look at a picture, you just hold it down and it'll bring you up the full picture. And uh, I really find this to be pretty quick. It's really, really fast. And if you like Facebook, I think this will be probably a good interface for you. But if you just tap on the screen once, it'll bring up your notifications right there. Of course, you're not going to get the same notifications you would on the ACC first. You will only just get your Facebook notifications. But you can double tap on the screen to like right there. And you can also hit that and see the comments button. And you can see all the comments that were made and you can just go ahead and tap once again to get to the little launcher. If you go to the left, you go to Messenger and if you go to the top, you will go to all your apps right there. If you swipe over, you will have all your apps and from the beginning there, you will have a little shortcut place where you can put the most recent apps right there. So I don't know why that's not working on the Apple Find 5, but uh, it might just be because I have the launcher that's still running in the background but you can see right here though it's working just fine and it's pretty responsive and if you go to messenger it's working just fine as well the one thing that you're going to notice though on here if you have a supported device for some reason some devices are not showing this but you can see that the chat heads work just fine 
chat heads are basically little icons that go on the side here with people's pictures on them and it's basically a really short aggregation of Facebook messages and SMS messages if your device is supported and it's really cool because you can just have like four or five people there and you can just kind of quick cut right to SMS and messaging it's very very cool chat heads is probably the best thing that Facebook has put out in a long time but if you see here there's no SMS or MMS messaging in the notification settings at all and I hope they come up with a patch for this because basically that's the best thing about Facebook home and Facebook messaging anyway is the chat heads and here the chat heads the only thing that are supported on the chat heads are the notifications or messaging from Facebook alone but I think that the most pure experience here really is on the Nexus 4 because the HTC First also runs stock Android, but it runs 4.1, and with the Nexus, you're running 4.2. And if you just go back, you go right back to stock Android. But you can have Home mixed with stock Android, and this is exactly how I think that they had it meant to be with the HTC first so this makes it really cool because you have the software buttons and it brings extra functionality there and you have Google Now still that is shortcutted right there without a problem and you have the back button and your multitasking button and I think that it actually brings some functionality to this Facebook launcher since it's just very basic but I found myself pretty much uninstalling this after 24 hours you just get kind of frustrated that it's only Facebook centric you have to really really love Facebook for this to work for you and I think some people will like it because I found myself liking a lot more things and looking at my feed a lot more but I think if you need to get to places and if you need to get stuff done on your phone it just makes extra steps for you to get to apps and things like that but overall I mean go ahead and try it you might as well it's free so go ahead and give it a try so subscribe to my channel today Follow me on Twitter at Super Scientific and on Instagram at Super Scientific.